Welcome. Welcome to A Taste of Justice. I'm Professor Angela May Kupenda. I am a law professor at Mississippi College School of Law, but I tell you that only for identification purposes. All views, interpretations expressed here are my own, and they are not to be ascribed to my school or to my students. I have some sad news, and I have some good news. Okay, you want the sad news first. The sad news is that, well, let me go back. We're doing, you know, I'm doing a series this semester, A Taste of Justice, on my con law class I teach and on my civil rights lawsuits course. Now, the sad news. The sad news is this is the final clip for my civil rights lawsuits course, civil rights lawsuits. I know, I know you're saying, what? We have so much more to learn. Well, look, this is a taste of justice, and hopefully I will come back with the Civil Rights Lawsuits course, and I will add clips on some of the topics we discussed in my class, but I did not get a chance to do a video for you. But you have now the basics of Section 1983. I also watched the Con Law clips, because 1983 is about primarily vindicating constitutional rights. That's the sad news. The good news is I'm not done yet with the con law video clips. So you keep watching, you subscribe, and you sign up for notifications because there is more about constitutional law to come this semester. Now, you may say this has been a intense time in learning about 1983, all of these concepts about uh, police immunity and what have you, concepts you will be hearing about, judicial immunity, legislative immunity, sovereign immunity, all these things you will no doubt be hearing about in many cases that will more than likely be making your way through the courts. So what am I doing? Are my students done in civil rights lawsuits? No, they are not done. At this point in the class, I hand the baton over to them. They will be facilitating the class. So you can participate too. Let me tell you what you can do. So I'm turning the class over to my students in civil rights lawsuits. And we're going to examine civil rights movements from the past. That is the first thing we would do. We're using this wonderful book that one of my former students gave me years ago. It's called Ripples of Hope. This is an amazing book. And it has speeches from civil rights movement speeches on so many different issues from uh, the 1700s all the way through 2000. I want you to get a copy of that book. I give you more information on the editor and what have you in the notes at the bottom of this video. And you can just read a bit every day and learn so much about how civil rights movements helped move the law and helped move us closer to establishing justice as stated in the preamble of the Constitution. The other book that you can get is one that some of my students will be reading. It's Great Speeches by Native Americans. Oh, I wonder if this is mirrored or not, but if you can't quite read this on the video, I've given you the name of the book and um, the, the editor and what have you at the bottom in the notes. So what my students are going to be doing, they're going to be doing presentations on Ripples of Hope in class, and we'll be talking about 
many of the civil rights speeches from people that you've heard of, like Sojourner Truth or Frederick Douglass or um, John F. Kennedy or Dr. Martin Luther King, Congressman John Lewis, will be studying their speeches and discussing how their movements and how their speeches led us forward toward more justice. Then the next thing my students will be doing, they will be writing their own civil rights speech. Yes, they will. They will write it and they will deliver it uh, as publicly or privately as they choose. They will deliver it and it has to be something they feel very passionate, very passionately about, just like I feel passionately about teaching and about seeking justice. So you can participate too. Order books for your family and friends and you all sit down and read these speeches and talk about movements and talk about what you can do to create your own ripple of hope because that's the name of the book. You know, but before I go, um, this evening, what I want to do is to encourage you. I want to encourage you. And I want to read first before I make those comments. I have a few quotes to read to you from this book, Ripples of Hope. Ripples of Hope. And let me read you this quote from Robert F. Kennedy. Each time a person stands up for an ideal or acts to improve the lot of others, or strikes out against injustice. He sends forth a tiny ripple of hope. And across and crossing each other from a million different centers of energy and daring, those ripples build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. That's from page 288 his speech in this book, for in this book gets its name from his comment about our each in our own way, creating a ripple of hope. I want to read to you, and I have three at the bottom, and you can read those other quotes, but I want to read to you um, this one from the editor. He just talks about how grateful he is how he learned from so many civil rights leaders from the past by reading their speeches. And he talks about the value in uh, finding strength in our differences and the value of diversity. And then he says, as Dr. King said many years ago, how long? Not long. Because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. And also, I want to share this final quote with you. And it's from W.E.B. Du Bois, also in the book, Ripples of Hope. He says this, no one can speak for you. No one knows the thing as well as you do. So I want to encourage you to create your own ripple of hope. Read the speeches. Write a speech yourself. Share it with others. Just think, if we all create a tiny ripple of hope, we may create a tsunami of justice. But for now, this is a taste of justice with Professor Angela May Kupinda. I want you to subscribe and sign up for notifications. Even though we've, uh, we're have we closing out on the civil rights lawsuits, the Calm Law videos will continue and I'll see you in about a week. You take care.